The federal government has uh, since realized that unless a special educational format was designed for nomads, they wouldn't have access to formal or even non-formal education. This was prior to the establishment of the nomadic system of education in Nigeria. Children enrolled in nomadic schools are entitled to instructional materials and exposure to modern education. Plus TV News correspondent Stephen Enoch takes a look at the theory situation of a nomadic school in Kano. 33 years after the establishment of nomadic schools in Nigeria, it appears that the purpose for which the nomadic school was established is somewhat frail. A case in point, Sararia Nomadic Education Primary School in Kanu, located in Ongongo local government area of the state, about 17 kilometers from Kanu Metropolis. What greets you is one out selling boards, meaning when it rains, everyone finds shelter and the learning process is disrupted. In this class, just like several other classes, pupils sit on the floor to study. The children in the class say whenever it rains while teaching is going on, the class is suspended and everyone goes home. They also add that when it rains before resumption hour, they stay back at home. Most of the pupils cannot communicate or comprehend basic instructions in English, even when one of the central mandates for nomadic education is to ensure that pupils are exposed to elementary forms of modern education. This is primary four, and the pupils don't know the difference between yes and no. No English. In this class as well, the students cannot relate to the questions asked. What is the name of your school? What is the name of your school? The lack of instructional materials seem to also hamper their learning process. In this decrepit staff room, it is easy to see that the teachers also bear the brunt of the neglect of the school. A community who feels this plight of the school calls on relevant authorities to get to work. The children in this school are suffering from so many challenges. They do not have instructional materials to aid their learning. They do not have chairs and tables, and their classes are in a deplorable condition as you can see behind me. If it rains while the children are in class, they are usually sent home because the classes always get filled with water. Most of the parents in this community lack awareness on the importance of education to their children. We are calling on the relevant authorities to look into this. The absence of a perimeter fencing in this school makes it free to entry and exit by anyone in a time when insecurity is taking its toll on the nation, and Kano is not an exception. Another disturbing situation here is the lack of portable water. A source in the school tells Plus TV News that they have to trek about 500 meters to get water, and whenever students want to ease themselves, they simply do it here. Musa Wada, the coordinator of nomadic education in Kano State, hints that efforts are underway to ensure that schools like Sararia Nomadic Education Primary School is put in good condition. There, there are efforts on, on that direction. There are efforts. Especially school uh, improvement uh, uh, programs, projects. New schools are regularly uh, inspected and monitored on, uh, on quality control at the local and the state uh, level. And even at zonal level, schools are instructed to see uh, how teachers, how uh, pupils are, uh, are, are, are doing in, in, in classrooms. The irony is that in order to learn basic education, they have to be taught in their mother tongue, as any other language may seem an absolute waste of time. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.